we have this circuit in this configuration and we need to determine V out as a function of V in and then find what's V out for V input 3 volts, V input minus 5 volts and V input 6 volts. So let's first analyze this circuit. I will name this current as I1, this current as I2, this will be I3, this will be I4, and this will be I5. We know that an ideal operation amplifier has a high input impedance. This means that the current going in or out is zero. So there is no current through this wire. And there is also no current going through this wire. This means that I1 is equal to I2 because there is only one pan. I'm going to write this I1 is equal to I2. And this also means that I3 is equal to I4 because there is only one pan. There is no current inside, so I3 is equal to I4. Let me define I1. I1 is Vi minus this potential. So first, I'm going to name this node. Let's say this node is V plus and this node is V minus. So the current I1 is Vi minus V plus, Vi minus V plus over 48K. And this is equal to I2. That's this, this current is V plus minus ground V plus over 6K. I'm going to multiply at both sides by 48K. So if I multiply by 48K, I just simplify. And if I multiply by 48K, this is going to be 8. That means that this is going to be 8. V plus is equal to just Vi minus V plus. I'm going to add this V plus to the other side. Nine V plus. And I have a relation between Vi and V plus. We know that because this is an ideal amplifier, there is a virtual short in between these terminals, the potential is really close together. So V plus is equal to V minus. We're going to put V plus is equal to V minus. Let's keep this in mind to analyze this node. We know that I3 is equal to I4. We define this here. So I3 is ground minus V minus. So ground is 0 minus V minus over 10K. And that's equal to I4. What's I4? V minus minus V out. V minus minus V out over 10K. We see that 10K, I am divided by 10K at both sides. So I will multiply by 10K at both sides. So multiply by 10K and it simplifies. And multiply by 10K and it simplifies. Now I have that minus B plus is equal to minus B minus minus B over. But we know that B plus could also be, uh, let's see, that V plus, from this equation, I can say that VI
over 9 is equal to b plus. I just divide it. So divide by 9 and divide by 9. This is other equation that I have from this one. So I'm going to replace b plus by this by this value. But remember that we know that b plus is equal to b minus. So this b minus is also equivalent to b plus. So let's say minus b plus, and where I have b minus, it's also b plus. Because we said they were equivalent for the ideal. Minus b o. So I'm going to take this to the other side. It's going to be minus 2 b plus equal to minus b o. If I multiply by minus 1 at both sides, I get plus. And now I can plug in b plus, this value for b plus. So this is 2 bi over 9 is equal to b out, b o. Now I just can say 2 over 9 bi is equal to b out. Now, if I want to know the value for b out when I plug in 3 volts, I have to plug in 3 volts in the input. So let's do that. For bi equal to 3 volts, so this is the equation that we are going to use to plug in the inputs and to know the outputs. So it's going to be 2 over 9 times 3 is equal to b out is 2 thirds. 2 thirds volts is equal to b out. So when b input is 3 volts, b output is 2 thirds volts. When input is 3 volts, the output will be 2 thirds volts. Now let's say for bi equal to negative 5 volts. So we plug in from this equation 2 over 9, 5 volts equal to bi. So this is going to be 10 over 9 volts. 10 over 9 volts equal to BO. And finally, for B input, ah, but guys, this is negative. So this is going to be negative 10 over 9 volts, a negative potential. And finally, for the B I equal to 6, B I equal to 6 volts, positive 6 volts, we just have 2 over 9, we just have 2 over 9, bi is 6, equal to bo. So this is going to be 12 over 9 volts, equal to bo. So actually guys, you can plug in any input value in this equation, and you will know any output value for a given input. So just plug Okay guys, so I hope that this is helpful. I'll see you in the next video.